All right, so you've been doing some stretches lately, maybe doing a fitness exercise class that's incorporating some very helpful stretches into them, maybe watching some online classes, and then you find out that they're doing some yoga stretches, or maybe they look like some yoga stretches, and now you're asking some questions about that. If so, this video is for you. This video is also inspired by Monique. She emailed me this morning and said, I've been doing yoga my entire life. I really enjoy it. I like uh, the relaxation part of it. I like the stretch part of it. But now I found out that the Catholic Church is against yoga. What do I do? Well, we're going to talk a little bit about that today. I'm going to start a little bit of a series called Is It Yoga? And we're going to touch on just a couple of the things to consider for your own faith and fitness journey. All right, but let's talk about today's exercise. I just finished my workout. I like to do a couple stretches. And let's talk about what stretches are yoga and what maybe not, or what maybe not be, what maybe what exercises. Let's just talk about the stretch. All right, so a couple of reasons you might do the stretch. If your lower back is bothering you, maybe your lower back is just feeling a little tight, a little tense, or, and or, you've been sitting at a desk all day long. And I'm on the floor, I know, but maybe you've been sitting like this with the kids. Maybe you've been kind of in a fetal position working at a desk all day long. The key is that you're in a flexed, uh, let's say, fetal position. My hips are flexed forward like this. My spine is flexed forward, right? So what do we want to do to unglue this position? We want to relax and get out of it and get long and tall. So when we stand up, we get long and tall and feel better. Well, one particular stretch that we do looks like this. Again, just think about this flex forward position we're typically in and let's do the opposite. So if you're feeling this tightness, you can go ahead and lay in your stomach, relax, all right? And even I can relax flat and just check in with how it feels to lay on your stomach. How does your lower back feel? How do your hips feel? All right, anything going on there? Is there a difference in your right hip versus your left hip? Are your shoulders okay here? And then I want you to come up. I tell you what, let's do this first. Take a couple breaths into your stomach. Breathe into your stomach. When you do that, if I'm watching you, I would see your lower back go up and down if we're breathing correctly. Meaning, I'm bringing, breathing into my stomach, and if my stomach fills up with a little bit of air, my lower back would raise. And then exhale out of your stomach. So inhale, and then exhale out of your stomach. All right? Then from there, come up onto your shoulders and just check in with this position. If you've been sitting forward all day long, sitting in a car for a long drive, this might feel kind of tight in your lower back. Because you have um, hip flexor muscles that connect to your thigh bones, kind of in your groin, and they run up into your pelvis and lower back bones, your psoas muscles and your iliacus muscles. These hip flexors get tight. When we sit for a long time, they tug on your lower back. This is a nice stretch to unglue that and lengthen those muscles, okay? So I'm gonna stay here for a little bit, and that might be enough. I can stay here for 30 seconds or a minute and then hop up and go about my day, and I feel pretty good with that. If you wanna um, add to that a little bit, if you're feeling a little feisty, you wanna add a little French pastry to that one, you can press all the way up here and then down, okay? Just listen to your body. You can put your hands out a little bit in front of you and press up, and then you can bring it back a little bit and press up, and just kind of feel these out, all right? And just see how does that feel in your back, all right? All right, so when I say press up, that's exactly what this exercise is called, all right? What we're doing is stretching out the muscles in front of your hip. We're also opening up the space between your vertebrae. So your vertebrae, you picture your discs of your vertebral column, and they sit in the anterior or front part of your spine. It, hope, it helps open up that. Um, it creates a little anterior or front traction along your spine, it takes some pressure off the discs. Now, if that hurts or you have some impingement in your spine, stay away from, from the move. All right, listen to your body. Just because I say it's a good exercise or you see it on a, you know, relieve lower back pain with this wonderful exercise, doesn't mean to do it if your body doesn't like it. All right, it might mean you have a little bit of a slip disc or bulging disc, nothing to, you know, uh, get too worried about. A lot of us, more people than you think have bulging discs. If they did x-rays and MRIs on all of our vertebral columns, they would find a lot more bulging discs that are asymptomatic, all right? But it's a nice exercise to do to kind of clear that. Do I have a, a, a disc problem? Is it pretty smooth? Is it a good stretch? In the physical therapy setting and in the fitness setting, where, where I usually am, but I do a lot of rehab-based exercises, we call this the press-up. We might call it the McKinsey press-up or even the McKinsey Williams press-up. So some uh, doctors, physical therapists that have developed these uh, press-up exercises to alleviate lower back pain, to do all the things we just talked about as far as reducing aches and pains and opening up the spine. 
all right? It's the press up. The question though is, it's also a cobra stretch. In yoga, in Hatha yoga, right? It is the upward facing dog. So when do we differentiate between the upward facing dog and the press up? Well, there's a lot of exercises like this, and these are the ones that I will cover that you may find in the yoga setting and you may find in the physical therapy, physiotherapy and fitness setting. These exercises are fine. Go with these, listen to your body and do these stretches. Okay. That is what's key. All right. The breathing techniques, yoga does a wonderful job with that. Um, but many fitness professionals and qualified physical therapists do as well. We do a lot of breathing work in, in Catholic fit. So the breathing component, all right, even breathing in your nose and out of your nose, uh, most of the day has been shown to lower your blood pressure. Learning to breathe with your diaphragm can reduce tension in your upper back. So breathing is very important. And it's something that we really talk about a lot. All right. But people will say, I want a good stretch and learn to breathe. I'm going to go do yoga. It's not necessary to go to yoga. All right. So Monique, when she emailed me, I gave her a little of just a few comments on this to one. I'm proud of the fact that she's listened to the, and she's listened to something within the church. She's researched this a little bit and she's looking for alternatives. All right. And there's a lot of debate. I'm not gonna get too deep into it, except to say that if you've been doing some, let's say yoga based exercises, or maybe they look a little bit like yoga, but you're just stretching out your back and your hips and you're going about your day. It's not too big of a deal, right? If you're getting into the terminology, the ideas of what they are, and you're really developing these different patterns and flows from yoga pose to yoga pose, think about our Catholic church. It's very important to us that we walk into mass and that we bow and that we genuflect, and that we sign the cross. We have a very physical, symbolic faith, all right? And the same can be said for Indian faiths, for uh, Buddhists, and for Hindu um, faiths that have, or, or religions that are the, um, the genesis of, or where yoga has come from. So there's a little bit of debate and discussion. It's very healthy, and I want you to continue to look into that. On my website, and I've, I've posted a lot of um, bishops and other, um, Catholic thinkers, let's say, that, that have looked into this much more than I have, that have some very, uh, just some great explanations for going kind of down this rabbit hole of getting deeper into advanced yoga and then learning about the spirituality of it, learning about the, um, uh, the origins of it, uh, the chakras involved throughout the body, and more. All right, because the cobra stretch is a pose that, uh, that is mimicking a cobra. It's supposed to help with your fear and anxiety and overcoming that. But we have many other truths that help us do that within the Catholic faith. Okay. I believe the problem in the 20th century, especially is if you talk to a 20, 30 or 40 year old today at the 21st century, and they're looking for a revival of their spirituality, they're going to walk into a yoga studio before they walk into a Catholic church. That's one of the inspirations behind my Catholic fit work and why I'm doing what I'm doing, right? That we get a sense of, physical health and spiritual health combined into one. And we're able to share that message, especially with this very health conscious generation. All right. So that's your press up. We're going to do a little different one every day, but that's your McKinsey press up. Continue to do that one. All right. And then if you are doing yoga and you're unsure, or maybe it's getting advanced, you know, and, and you're not just doing a couple stretches at your local boot camp, but you're actually going to a yoga studio and you're looking for alternatives. I'm always happy to call you or talk to you about, um, some online coaching. Two primary examples or things I recommend is Soulcore, S O U L Soulcore.com. All right. It is, it is basically a stretch and strengthening class based to the rosary, very meditative. They work on breathing, stretch and strength. The other one is Pietra Fitness, P R P I E T R A Fitness. You can check that one out as well. I love the Catholic fitness community. Uh, and I think we, we, we need to expand this discussion, share each other's ideas, and really share this message as we are faith and fitness disciples uh, coming at you from the lens of the Catholic faith. It's so important. All right. So uh, listen to your lower back. Try that press up. Tell me what you think below. God bless you. Thank you for checking this video. Out. And um, I think I might start a little series about this. Is it yoga? Right. And we'll talk about all these different stretches that are much more universal in nature that can be used by anyone differentiating those from ones that are specific yoga things that have been developed from the Hindu religion. All right. Let's talk more about that next time. God bless you. Keep moving. I'll see you then.